Hello friends, how are you all doing? Silvio here. In today's video, I will review a tobacco that I wanted to try for many, many years that my friend, my dear friend, Mr. Yanis bought me from uh, Belgium. Vincent Manil, Vincent Manil, Reserve du Patron. But first, I will uh, start with some snuff that I got from my buddy Sean from UK. Tog, whiskey and honey. Let us get, take a little bit of snuff. To get started. Oh yeah, whiskey and honey, dog. Thank you, Sean. I hope you're well, buddy. Now, the pipe for today. The Turkish block mission. This tobacco, it's pure burley. It is grown in the Ardennes Valley where the Battle of the Bulge took place in World War II. This is truly natural tobacco. It, it is not even cased with sugar. As we all know, 99% of pipe tobaccos are cased with a lot of sugar. And 99% of them have uh, PG added so this has nothing that's why it comes very dry very very dry this is what not adding sugar and uh, propylene glycol does it makes the tobacco extremely 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 dry let's see I smoked it many times since I got it. It comes in the 90 gram packs, package. It comes very dry. This pipe comes with the Nine millimeter filter, but I didn't put any filter inside, so that's why it's making this horrible sound. This is tobacco how I remember it from my childhood. We used to grow tobacco when I was a child. When I used to go to my grandfather's home in the, the countryside, all of us children used to put big leaves of uh, tobacco on huge long ropes with a huge uh, pin metal pin we passed the the rope with the pin through the 
stem of the big leaf and one after another and we made huge rows of tobacco that people uh, hang it on their entire property, on their homes, on their uh, fences and all that uh, small town was full of tobacco in the period when they uh, gather the crop. Yeah. So the smell in the in the jar it smells like a cigar. Woody. It's like the smell of very dried wood. Hay. Earth dust. Yeah, pretty simple, straightforward, uh, natural tobacco smell. The taste. Cigar like it even has notes of pine and uh, basil, you know, basilicum. It has a very agricultural smell. burns very fast so that's why I used a big pipe nicotine almost medium nutty quite rough Very earthy and, um, and full bodied, like a very tough, burly with no sweetness. Yeah, this is the pipe. I think you know it very well by now. It is getting dirtier. I wish it would have remained pristine white. It was so beautiful when it arrived. There is just the smallest amount of sweetness, but not, not much. This is a great tobacco for cigarette smoker, smokers, as I am. It's like you're smoking a unfiltered cigarette from my childhood period when Romania had maybe 20 cigarette companies. And uh, some of the cheapest ones called Carpati, like the Carpathian Mountains, there was the it was the working man cigarette and uh, it had uncased, totally raw tobacco. And uh, uncased, totally raw tobacco doesn't taste too good and uh, it's always very dry and it smells very badly for the people around the smoker. It has almost an incense-like taste.
spine. It has the absolute same taste on the entire period of the smoke. Nothing changes. It's actually very interesting if you are an, more, uh, if you're not a newbie in uh, pipe smoking and uh, you are like me, that I'm a pipe smoker for, I've been a pipe smoker for 24 years, you are starting to appreciate tobaccos that are really different, you know? You are starting to get bored with uh, all these modern tobaccos that are very, very similar. Very similar. Almost all of them have uh, licorice. There is a site that Mr. Yanis will show you in a video soon, I hope. There is a German site when you can see all the pipe tobaccos possible. And you, they are obligated to say what they put in their blends. And you will see all your favorite tobaccos. 99.9% .9 of them have licorice flavor. 100% of them have sugar. Uh, 99.9% .9 of them have uh, propylene glycol or something similar yeah even the ones that you will never think they have they all do for keeping the moisture as you can see if you don't do it it's like dry leaf leaves from the balcony so yeah so they all have similar things, but this is very different. So, the, so for a more experienced pipe smoker, this is a great addition to your, uh, to his cellar. So the Mirsham, Turkish Mirsham pipe, and uh, some snuff that I got from my friend from UK, Sean, and uh, Vincent Manil, Reserve du Patron that I had from Mr. Yannis. See you guys.